Hi, today we're going to look at Logic's basic editing functions in their simplest form. The editing abilities in Logic are quite similar to what you would find in a word processor and you can do the same with music that you can do with a word processor with text. I can copy a word or a sentence from say here and then paste it somewhere else later in the document or into other places in the document. Similarly, I can take a piece of music from here, copy it and put it somewhere else within the song. OK, let's just remind ourselves of where we are. We have a Logic song open called Logic 101 Unit 4 Editing Non-Destructive and I've got one piece of audio on a track in the Arrange window the piece of audio is called GTR1-03 and it's here we can see it as well in the what's called the, the audio bin. If you can't see this audio bin on the right hand side of your screen go up to the top here and click on this media icon. That shows and hides the media bin and you can see all your loops, the sound library and the audio bin. This is where Logic shows you the audio files that are in this project. So we've got gtr one hash 03aif and if I uh, hide Logic and go and look on my drive where I've saved this song, Logic 101 Unit 4 Editing Non-Destructive, in the audio files folder we can see guitar 101 hash 03. So that's the only piece of audio we've got in here. OK, and as you can see, it starts with one bar of nothing, and then there's a riff, then there's some chords. So I've got a two bar riff and two bars of chords and then a bit of silence at the end. Now then, what I'd like to do is actually copy the riff so I've got it twice and then the chords, so I've got instead of riff and then chords, I've got riff, riff, chords, chords. So the first thing I do is hit the escape key and bring up the scissors tool. When I hover the scissors tool over this region, it turns into a pair of scissors. And if I click and hold on that region, first thing that happens is that a box appears with some information in it. It tells us that we are about to divide guitar 1 hash 03, which is on track 1. At the moment, we are going to divide it at bar 2, beat 4, sub beat 1. But if I drag the mouse to left and right while holding the mouse button down, I'm going to move it so that we cut it at exactly bar 3, beat 1. The other thing this information is telling us on the right hand side of that white box is that this whole piece of audio is five bars, one beat, one sub beat, one eight four sub sub beats long. So I'm just going to make sure that the scissors tool is exactly on three one and then let go of the mouse button. Bingo. Now then, what's happened? First of all, a line has appeared in this chunk of audio here on the arrange window. Secondly, another region has appeared here in the regions bin. Here's our original chunk of guitar. I've cut it there and I now have two separate regions. Guitar 1 hash 03 dot 1 which is this little bit here and guitar 1 hash 03 dot 2 which is all the rest of this bit here. I can go and cut this again. Let's cut it at bar 5. Another region has appeared. Let's cut it at bar 7. Another region has appeared. And look at them. They're all derived from this one audio file. But the bits that we're using are shown in blue. Now then, I can press the escape key. Go back to my pointer tool, hit the backspace key and get rid of that. Hit the backspace key after clicking on it and get rid of that. And I'm left with two regions 
and as I click on them you'll see over here in the audio bin that they become highlighted. This region is the riff. If I double click on its name in the audio bin I can type in riff. This region is the chords. So if I type here chords now it's been renamed on the arrange window as well. Now it's important to understand what we've done. We have not changed this original chunk of audio at all. We have not destroyed it in any way. That's why this is called non-destructive editing. I can prove this if I hide logic, go back to my folder that the song is kept in. Here in the audio files bin, nothing called riff or chords has appeared. There's just that one chunk of audio same as before. So I can now move these around wherever I like. I can drag the chord sequence and put it there. I could even copy them. If I bring the riff back to beat one bar one and then hold down the alt key and click and hold on the riff, an information box appears telling me that I'm about to copy region called riff. It's two bars long, it says on the right hand side of the box, and it's currently placed at beat one bar one. If I click, hold and drag while holding down the alt key, there, I've copied the riff onto the end of itself. I should now hear two riffs, one after the other. Let's just prove that I still haven't changed the original audio file. If I hide logic and go back to the folder where I keep the song in, there's still no extra audio files appeared in the audio files bin. So I can drag the chords back to here now and I can copy them as well. Hold down the Alt key, click and hold, drag until it reaches bar 7. Now I should have two riffs and two chords. <laughs> And I think it needs one riff on the end for completeness. So I can go to my audio bin, grab hold of a riff, drag it in, place it at bar 9, and then we get this. OK, let's recap. I can do this all over again. If I drag in this piece of guitar, First of all, I hit the escape key and I chose the scissors tool. I cut the region on an exact bar line, then I did it again on the next two, uh, two bars later, then again, go back to my pointer tool, get rid of those bits of silence. I then renamed these regions by double clicking here, typing in the name. I then copied them around and moved them around and did whatever I wanted with them. But I did not ever change the original chunk of audio. That's called non-destructive editing. You can also perform non-destructive edits on um, software instrument tracks. So let's make a new track. New software instrument create it. There it is. It's come up with our electric piano on it. Okay, I've recorded my simple little piano. I now go ahead and quantize that. Remember, we've recorded MIDI note numbers. We haven't recorded sound, we've recorded MIDI note numbers. And if I play it back, mm -hmm. 
And I can do exactly the same with this region of piano. I can hit this gate key, take out my scissors tool, cut it there, cut it there, cut it there, and again, I can name these regions if I click up here and call that piano riff one and so on and again I could copy this whole lot if I just drag and lasso the whole lot hold down the alt key and copy it to there I've done exactly the same thing okay that's the basic principle of Logic's simple editing functions. Remember, these are non-destructive edits. You're not actually changing the data, you're just copying it.